What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to play Xbox One games on Windows 10 PC or Mac. Now before we go any further, the things you will need is a PC or a Mac running Windows 10. Now if you don't know how to do that, then in the description below there will be links to go ahead and check out how to get Windows 10 on PC or Mac. You also need your Xbox One and your Windows 10 PC or Mac connected to a reliable network connection. Now a wired connection is recommended, however, a wireless connection has been tested and it works good. Next you need to make sure both the Xbox One and your Windows 10 computer are up to date with all the latest updates and patches installed. Then you'll need your Xbox One controller to obviously navigate the UI or any game. Neither a touchscreen nor a keyboard combo can be used yet to control Xbox One on your computer. Now the final thing you'll need is a micro USB. So hopefully now you've got all that, let's get into the steps. First of all, you use any micro USB cable to connect your Xbox One controller to your computer and wait for Windows 10 to automatically install the driver. Then launch Xbox app on Windows 10 and make sure you're logged into the same Xbox Live account in this app as you are on the Xbox One console. After that, click on connect from the left column followed by connect button again to connect to your console. If your console is turned off, you can either turn it on physically by pressing the button on the console itself or just click on power on in the Xbox One app on your computer to turn it on remotely. Then you'll need to click on test streaming and then start test. This is basically going to make sure your network speed is suitable for streaming Xbox One to your computer. Now after that you should get all green checks, if you do then you're ready to go. The final step is click on stream to start streaming Xbox One onto your computer. Then that's it, you should now see the full Xbox One user interface running on your computer in full screen. When you're done simply just click stop streaming to end your session. Now as I mentioned before you cannot use your keyboard or mouse or touch screen at the moment you'll have to be using your Xbox One controller to use it. Now if you're wondering about voice commands and you want to be able to do them, well, Windows 10 Xbox apps lets you use the microphone on your computer to send voice commands to the console. Just say Xbox to start sending voice commands. Now by default the Xbox One Windows 10 app is set to stream in medium settings. Depending on your network speed you can change it to high or low using the top menu bar in the app. Now in addition to that there's also an option to monitor bandwidth being used by streaming. Now as I said a wired connection is recommended however a wireless connection has been tested by many people and they are happy it's been flawless no lag or anything so it's completely up to you which one you do. And like I said no keyboard mouse or touch screen is supported at this moment in time but obviously that will come in the future. So that is it for this video, I still haven't got my PC back so I still can't do the normal videos I do and I can't do my Minecraft videos, however I'm still uploading for you guys so I hope you appreciate it. Be sure to go follow me on Twitter, I'll keep you updated when we're posting and what we're posting. Also be sure to go and check out my gaming channel, I post 3-4 to four times a week. And finally be sure to go and add me on Snapchat to see what I do throughout my day. So yeah, it's been Casual Savage here, thanks so much for watching, please subscribe, rate, and peace.